Right, okay, so thankfully it's came out. Look at the pillars over there. They So tonight I'm at Balvard Castle, which is between Perth and Kinross sort of area. Uh, it's relatively dark skies here. I'm going to set up a nice time lapse with my 20mm 1.8 lens. It's a location I've wanted to shoot for a while and I've just not had the chance. The moon's going to be coming up, but well, it should be up just now, but there's a bit of cloud uh, over in the east hindering that moonlight. So the moon will be coming up to hopefully provide a bit of uh, light on the foreground, but it's just going to be nice dark skies. The Milky Way is not going to be as deep as detailed as normal because the moon's obviously up so that's what i thought it's a good area just to have a wee recce of the area and get a nice time lapse there's these nice rolling clouds you can just tell by the type of clouds they're, they kind of roll quite pretty quickly so the clouds will be kind of rolling through this time lapse you'll see a wee bit of the milky way but it's just not going to be that detailed because we are looking over the central belt as well uh, over Kinross. so the light pollution will hinder it plus the moonlight just gonna set it up now I'm on obviously bulb mode, 13 seconds, 1.8, ISO 2000 and pretty much my foreground is just a castle, a nice tree to the left and this awesome wall on the right hand side of the frame which just acts as just some sort of leading line, it just looks quite cool and there we go and now we can just look at the stars. So as you can see now, everything's been lit up, the moon's came out, it's about a 70% illuminated moon. But the thing what's definitely stole the show is, we've literally just saw a good fireball meteor. It lasted for a good 10 to near 20 seconds. It started away down in the south, so pretty much over my shoulder, and didn't finish until way over there, about the northwest. So I got one, I checked the shots of my time lapse, I got one shot, I'll put it up just now, you can just see the streak of it. But it was just so bright because it went behind the clouds and it got obscured but you could just see behind the clouds it kind of like flashing blue and green but that is kid you know that is the biggest fireball i've ever seen it went across the whole blooming night sky So annoyingly it's gone a wee bit more cloudier over in the east, you can see the moon over there and over by the castle um, it's just got a wee bit of cloud but luckily there's a wee clear patch over there, hopefully that comes over but it's just that type of cloud that keeps coming and going, coming and going. So we've just left the castle, the castle just started to get clouded over, but luckily on the way back I was checking my phone for northern lights because I knew there was a slight chance of it and luckily we checked the app at the right time and we saw this big arc starting to form over the horizon so you can just see the arc behind us but it's not like a huge arc so it's just in the, the early stages hopefully the arc gets a wee bit bigger and it starts dancing but you can just see a big green bulge on the horizon so we've got everything crossed that it gets much bigger This is really good. It's getting better. It's getting better on camera. Oh shit. Shit balls. Shit balls.
Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, I can see it. Can I see can it. literally see it. Yeah. Up, but it's really hard. It's starting now. It's starting now. Right, just sit still. <laughs> Yeah. Right, okay, so thankfully it's came out. Look at the pillars over there. This is like 10 minutes after I said it, it was just really quiet. Uh, but you can see like a massive pillar over there, so I'm just going to keep shooting and well I've just put the camera just on roll so you can just see the Northern Lights dancing literally live on camera. So that was a really hectic half an hour there. You could see all the pillars dancing. I got some really, really good footage. I'm very happy with that. That's you know up there with one of the good shows that I've seen, definitely. So hopefully got really good pictures. I'm very happy with tonight. So we've got the, the castles, and now we've got a really good Aurora show. But definitely the Aurora took centre stage tonight. So hopefully we get many more shows like that uh, throughout the season because yeah, it's just really, really picking up now. That's it's getting like once a week now. We're starting to see Northern Lights. Uh, we just need the clear skies, so thank you for watching, cheers. So I'm back at the castle, Balvard Castle, just two nights after uh, when I was shooting it last time and I got the nice northern lights. Uh, I'm going to try and get a wee bit more of stars pretty much in the frame and hopefully a wee bit of the Milky Way just because there was a bit of moonlight and a bit too much cloud so I'm going to try and get a wee bit more stars so the first shot I'm going to get is shooting east and hopefully into the Cassiopeia area and the faint side of the Milky Way so I'll try and get that, it's just about gone dark now so after I get this, so after I get this shot shooting that way I'll zoom over to the other side of the castle shoot southwest into the Milky Way and hopefully get some nice detail in the Milky Way For this image looking east, uh, I'm going to do a portrait one just because Cassiopeia is really really high in the sky so I need to go portrait just to fit it into the image. Uh, 2010 seconds actually. Okay, please don't hate me when I say this but mm -hmm. what is Cassiopeia? Yeah, um, see the constellation up there, it looks like a W. Wait, 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 wait. It's like if you follow the Milky Way. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Just follow that line and you'll see it. I think I'm looking at it. <gasps> I can see Andromeda in the picture too. Ooh. Oh, 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 wait, is it that? Right, hold on. It starts there and then it goes like do 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 do. Yeah. Yeah. See? I knew I was looking at it. Oh no, don't be oh the f Just ruin the foreground there.
So I'm now looking southwest into the Milky Way. There's quite a lot of pollution over in that way just from the Kinross town, uh, but you can still see that Milky Way core. And with my star glow filter, the stars are really popping. So really good location. Hopefully got some really good pictures. Just because the other night the moon was up a wee bit more and there was a wee bit too much cloud but obviously as you saw the northern lights saved that night so finally that's this location ticked off and yeah hopefully you enjoyed the video it was a really good couple of days yeah.